peace to the family is Brother Polite. I'm here with a lovely background. And I'm also here with one of my mentees. Them getting on board. It should be everybody's goal. Everybody's goal to teach. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my mentees through the cipher and I'm showing you what they've accumulated throughout the years in addition to what they already knew, what they bring into the table. I think the most powerful part about what I have to offer is that we empower the brothers and sisters that's making subscriptions to these teachings to also be teachers. But you see in this community, in this particular doctrine that I disseminate to the rest of the masses, you have to be commissioned to not only teach and share what you've learned, but to also be able to empower others on a monetary scale based on what they're able to gather from what you teach. This is important because on many other occasions we have joined communities and when we became teachers in light of that which we've learned, the masses wasn't really capable of taking those themes and making them come to fruition as far as monetary success is concerned. And whether we like money, hate money, or love money, the fact of the matter remains that it is very relevant on a day-to-day -day basis. You have to pay your bills, you have to pay for gas, you have to pay for utilities, you have to buy a car in many instances or use public transportation, you have to pay for food, you have to pay for clothing, you have to pay for shelter. There's nice things you would like to give your significant other and your siblings and your children and everybody else thereof. I love you too, sister. Thank you for the blessings. That was a blessing. And so, I want to talk to you all about the cashless society, but like I said, I'm also featuring my little brothers, and I don't mean that to demean them at all, but I see him, my brother Franz, I see them as my little brothers, and as far as the fact that I remember when they first started walking this path, and in between that time, I've seen their growth not just in making monies or making investments, but in character, in emotion, in diffusing anxiety and subduing their passions and being so fully committed and dedicated to their craft that they were willing to travel to get as close to the information as possible and stay until they see results materialize. And that is what mentoring is all about. So I'm gonna start featuring people that I mentor to just show you the results so you can see the results right before your eyes. But I'm going to tell you, anyone that I put in front of this camera is always very sharp because I'm not about to share nobody with you and co-sign them and say that this is one of my students and then turn around and you be like, man, he dry. Nah, he has his own approach. He has his own disposition when he teaches. But the reality is this. He's on point. He's extremely brilliant and he has a lot to offer you and it, and he knows this just like how i teach anything that i'm sharing with you you would know if i'm fronting because i would have to stutter while i'm speaking you know what i say is fluent and expansive and when this brother teaches you'll see once he gets in that zone he, yo he can go so many places with the information that it just makes me smile because i know he's a true child of light because of his ability to communicate that information. But understand, the whole reason why we're able to achieve monetary success because our spirituality is intact. And we know spirituality is the property acquired by the church or the revenue generated thereof. Ain't that interesting? But also in its conventional sense, that in its most popular sense, our spirituality is intact. But I figure I should say that because that's the actual meaning for spirituality. So somebody has taught you a different form of spirituality and we practice that one every day, the one that keeps us broke. We're practicing the other form of spirituality. It's called Kuwina Akwunu and Indu Asusu. Indu Asusu means living language. Kuwina Akwunu means spiritual economics. And we understand because of the paradigm in which we have to thrive in, there can truly be no spiritual evolution at max unless we come to terms with economics. We need to be economically free, most of us, in order to achieve a pristine state of spirituality. You may say, man, money and spirituality got nothing to do with each other. No, not in this paradigm it does. Because if you don't have the time to read, study, pray, meditate, travel the world, 
taste different foods, consume different herbs, feel the sun from a more equatorial disposition, less equatorial disposition, where the ozone layer is and the further away from it, closer to it. If you don't get a chance to experience different communities, different cultures and different religions, to bear witness to different types of people, because you have a nine to five, then trust me, no matter how much you meditate, no matter how much you feel your third eye is open, you'll never fully understand spirituality until you're able to travel the world over. Okay, this is a whole planet. Don't limit yourself to being in a city, state, or providence. This is a whole planet here. So I'm here to just talk to you and walk with you. I'm very excited. This conversation today is supposed to be about the cashless society. And I think you should look forward to it. I think you should embrace the cashless society. I don't think. Let me say it. I know you should embrace the cashless society. I have to speak with more affirm stronger affirmations. Part of me. Part of that, my brothers and sisters. So, first and foremost, what you need to do is make sure you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Always leave your full name and your phone number if you're interested in the mentorship program. That is the costly venture. That's where I hold your hand. I coach you 12 times a month, three days out the week, 30 minutes at a time. The 30 minute sessions comprise of the days of the week that your schedule, my schedule is the most compatible. Okay, that one is a more costly venture. Then you have consultations and those are $200 an hour over the phone or $300 in person. Then we have the course that's coming up. The course is $120 and that will entail this particular time, making money off of insurance, credit, getting a revolving line of credit. We're gonna take you step by step on how to get a revolving line of credit. And then we'll also work with you on cryptocurrency, how to make monies in real time. Do not take the course expecting to just take notes and do nothing with it. Take the course with the understanding that you're going to learn on that same day how to apply the information in real time. Otherwise, you hit me up and say, P, I'm disappointed. I thought I was going to learn how to make money in real time or start the process. Okay, initiate the process. We're talking with little to no funds. That's what the course is designed for. A lot of times people uh, don't have a lot of resources available to them. And so we have to be creative in our ability to keep advancing in society. And many of us get very discouraged because we're lacking in resources. So the mentorship program is one thing. Okay, and that costs more. But of course the results is going to yield you some powerful powerful returns as a fact just through coaching but there's also the courses because sometimes it's harder for people okay it's harder for people to pull it off now you see the weird thing about people is even when I show them people that I'm mentoring you still want to give pessimism this is why I know there's no saving some of our people because even when you put the information right before them it doesn't matter. They want to talk to you about something else. Don't steer me right if I'm going left. Don't do that because I'm going to stay focused. You know who you are. There's no sense in talking about anything that isn't going to make us money right now. So I'm going to ask the people that's in the chat, don't talk to me if it ain't about making money or learning how to do the same. I'm going to presume you already know this information if you're here and you should go elsewhere to get the information you don't have. That's how you do this. Let's not waste each other's time. I'm not going to get into any confrontations with anybody. Some of you, you know, we teach cryptocurrency. Oh, no, nah, that don't work for nobody. That's not true. No. First of all, if I would, I'd be, this is why we're going to go on Instagram. We're going to go on Instagram after this. And the reason why we're going to do this is because anybody who wants to say it doesn't work, I'm going to give you the floor to tell me what doesn't work. Because you, be you might be right about what doesn't work. But I know damn well, no one is presenting to you the information that we present to you. Not in this way, not in this manner, and for the purposes of making sure that you can benefit from it in real time. You know me. It's all about benefiting in real time. How many of you even knew what a QRP was before I started talking about a qualified retirement plan or a cash and tax deferral compensation arrangement plan? This stuff is in my brain because anything that saves my life, I better retain to memory. Facts. How many of you knew about a mortgage hypothecation? How many of you knew about an administrative affidavit, a specific negative environment with opportunity to kill and counterclaim and admiralty? I live this, I do this. I actually do this. This is all up here. And anybody that's a naysayer, anytime I give them the floor, they don't take it. They never take the floor. Because it's easy to type in heckle. 
but I'm going to give you the flow on Instagram. And if you can say anything that I'm saying is ineffective, I want you to explain how. Because I don't waste people's time when it comes to this information because I don't have time to waste. I got things I got to do. I'm going out tonight. I'm going out tonight. In fact, I'm supposed to be at, at the ball game, sitting courtside with the money team. They doing their thing. I'm doing my thing. But we're going to connect. Then I'm going out with a beautiful woman because this is what I do in a dope car because that's what I do. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So this is me. And I got a consultation actually coming up around 8 o'clock. Come think about it. 8 o'clock I got to do a consultation. But um, I got to find a way to squeeze that in because really I'm supposed to be at the game. I haven't figured this all out. But anyway, point of the matter is this. Thank you, Brandon, Buchanan Powell. Appreciate that. That's how you do. So, yeah, if you want those classes, always email specifically your full name, okay, and your phone number, and make it clear. Mentorship, consultation, or courses. Please do not mix up courses with mentorship. It wastes a lot of time on the phone. Please do not say, yes, I'm interested. I'm gonna call you back in five minutes like you're making me happy and then you don't or you stop picking up I never want to feel like and my administrators never want to feel like we're ensuing you with something you don't want to do don't lie because you feel embarrassed that you can't do take the information ask your questions and move on in fact if you can get those questions answered while we're on the stream do that now so you don't waste other people's time because we we can only reach out to bust so many people because we get constant emails and constant phone calls all the time, constant DMs and constant inboxes. So don't do that. It wastes a lot of time. Okay. So it's brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. I thank you guys for putting it there. Let me write it for y'all. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. And we're going to say please. Please. Full name, phone number, okay, and I'm gonna pin it to the top. Well, I don't have this. So I thank you all for putting the correct information there. And showing the love always put your full name and your phone number so without further ado we want to talk about why the cashless society is going to be so powerful and so prominent i've been doing crypto including crypto mining that's pretty good before most people even knew what it was that's good conversation i like to hear things about crypto mining i like to hear different things because when you talk about crypto currency all people know is uh, I'm going to download an app and I'm going to just put some money into a coin and hopefully that coin makes a lot of money one day. <laughs> this is the most people know about it and oh, it's man. so much more vast than that. For example, do you know you can create a marketplace? This is a staple, okay? As we learn in economics, you can create a virtual staple. This is a place where people are able to buy and sell, right? You can create a virtual staple and be your own rendition of Westgate, Las Vegas. You know how they have people betting on decentralized prediction markets. <laughs> decentralized prediction markets. We have Westgate, Las Vegas, who says, "Man, you know what? What are the odds of somebody going to the playoffs? What are the odds of them scoring a hundred points? What deferential might exist? May it be a ten-point deferential or an eight-point deferential? You know, you can create this through crypto, right?" without the same regulatory means that exist with the cash or liquid currency. Yes, you can create a staple, a crypto staple. Staple would be the terminology. You can create a crypto staple and saturate it with predictions and leverage the responses to those predictions and generate revenue. Facts. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's get my brother on. Let's just start building. Take it from there. So, <laughs> uh, insurance and credit, 
those are going to be, they're still going to stay. But they're going to be revolutionized by, they're going to be infused with crypto. It's a fact. So, for instance, insurance, you're going to see a lot of jobs get lost in the insurance uh, industry, but insurance is not going to go away because of smart contracts. So, for instance, if there is a hurricane in your neighborhood, all you have to do is talk to this, or you would sign up, you would pay your monthly bills, but if there were a, a, a catastrophe, the blockchain would already be aware of the data, wherever your address is at, the funds get released immediately uh, upon upon the disaster you register. You wouldn't have to wait a day or two to be assessed by have a person tell you what you may or may not get when you know you deserve it all. Mm. You know, so you're going to have smart contracts automatically uh, transacting with humans, but they're just programmable contracts. So you're going to see a lot of jobs be cut out. And at credit, they're going to have this international crypto credit score. So not only is it going to take the credit you have now into account, but it's also going to take the how often you pay your rent, how often uh, you 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 do uh, you pay your tuition. There's certain things that are going to be all inclusive with your credit score. So you still want to take care of, care of your credit score now. But it's also going to be infused in the in the revolution or evolution of insurance and credit. Mm. You know, those systems will still be there. It's just the form of payment will be in a decentralized crypto. You know, they already have the state of Ohio is already willing to take property taxes in Bitcoin. There's a county in Florida that are willing to take property taxes in Bitcoin as well. So the system is still going to be there. It's just the form of the payment is going to be a new form of payment. So get excited. You understand? And because uh, it's early, because it, it's it's still very early. And I want to talk about market cycles, micro, mar- market cycles. I get a little nervous on the web, web camp. But understand that this drawback that we had with Bitcoin is natural. It's healthy. Look at all the other uh, drawbacks it's had. It's been an 85% drawback. This is healthy. Understand that this is where you do want to accumulate and come in. Watch your emotions. Don't buy. Don't sell. Talk to uh, Brother Polite. Email him. Just see what we have to say. We're not financial advisors. I'm not a financial advisor. Facts. But... We want to get you the most clear understanding about how this technology works and where the future is going so that you can make the best decisions for yourself. Let's talk about the predictability uh, and as far as creating a marketplace around creating a marketplace around predictions and our estimations and how we could leverage that to generate revenue. Let's discuss that and what that means in retrospect to cryptocurrency. So Augur, if you want to look it up, that's already A-U-G-U-R, is already the uh, decentralized prediction marketplace on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can use Ethereum to set up a market, you can set up a question, sometimes it either has to do with uh, a deadline or uh, a certain percentage of where something closes. It all depends on uh, what kind of marketplace, but it's anonymous, so you really have the freedom to make whatever market you want that is up to you so use at your discretion no one's t- telling you you can't do something or can't say something so just be responsible and basically you'll be able to gamble with anyone around the world on basically any aspect of your life you can gamble on the weather no joke we, i've already seen people gambling on the weather sometimes people have extra time extra money and want to do something with it so as far as uh you know, there would be somebody in India saying, hey, you know what, I got to catch this flight. Ah, uh, your flight's not going to come on time. Well, I bet it is. I bet you $10 it is. I bet you 15 whatever it is. And you could actually make money in real time while you're living your life. With, you know, I, whatever the outcome may be, but these are all the different possibilities that can come up. And if you were to come up with some very intricate questions, whether that be ele- uh, political elections, whether it be something uh, in sports, you can create your own prediction market. And the, the better the questions you come up with consistently, the more reputable you are in that system. And you could just be that dude who all they do is sit down, come up with questions, make a market out of it, and sit back and profit while you're mining crypto, while you're trading. While so you're so the, I think the disconnect now at this point is how does it translate into becoming money that we can spend by creating a prediction market? Okay. So, with when you dis, when you decentralize your money, you're actually leaving, you're exiting the system. Now, when you want to put your money back into USD, you need you're going back in. So you need an on ramp and off ramp, and that's where exchanges come in. 
Mm. Anything that can trade a USD to uh, Bitcoin or a USD to Ethereum, those are on ramps and off ramps. Understand that when you're dealing with centralized money, they're always going to want something in return, and that's your data, that's your privacy. They want to know everything about you because that's how they want to leverage in case something goes wrong. When you're decentralized, all they care about is your address. So here's here's the thing. Um, so there's a pro- brother named Vic McLean. I wish we could bring him on. He said, "Listen, people, crypto is bullshit. If you're serious, learn forex." forex so, so, so since at least we can see him type, yeah. I want to challenge his spirit. Okay, and I want to ask him, tell us three things about Forex that's revolutionary in contrast to crypto. I'll tell you three things about crypto that contrast to Forex, in which case Forex will never be able to be put. Forex doesn't have the same advancement threshold as that of a crypto currency. And I'll be able to prove it just by showing you who is investing in crypto. Okay, because if, if what you're saying is true, okay, if what Vic McLean is saying is true, then I need to know why the feds are creating the crypto or investing in crypto. They own crypto coin. I also need to know why certain banks are investing in crypto coins and not just any banks. Okay, so I'm going to wait for you, Vic McLean, because if it's BS that we're talking about, then the heavy hitters must not know something that you know. So I want to know. You know, I want to know why McLean, Vic McLean knows something that the feds don't know. Okay? And you must understand that they are not part of American society when we talk about the federal government or Federal Reserve. And I I would like to know why they have a coin. Okay? And why they're investing heavy in it. So, we're waiting on you, Mr. McLean. Unfortunately, we can't get your face, but I would like you to explain your standpoint because you said it's bullshit trust me people go to forex so you're directing people to forex for whatever reason i would like you to explain to people why they should go to forex as opposed to maybe doing both or why forex is better than crypto because you see what we're explaining to you is that there's a new age okay um and that's what we're talking to you about, a cashless society. Perhaps you didn't read the title. Okay? The method of payment. You may not realize that there are Bitcoin machines in the hood right now at check cashing places. And while you're sitting there thinking this is just a fluke, oh, this is bullshit, why is it in the check cash? Why is, in, why is supermarkets accepting Bitcoin? Why are car dealerships accepting Bitcoin. But you know what many of you are doing? Many of you are just sitting here. Let me get some light so it don't look too spooky. But many of you are sitting here saying to yourself, this will pass over because you're listening to people like McLean say, oh, it's bullshit. Got a response. So McLean says it's the biggest market in the world. He said Forex is the biggest market in the world. It's absolutely predictable. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a, that's a lie, McLean. Someone should have taught you better than that. When you're done with economics, you don't say things like absolute, first of all. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's a lie. Leverage is 50 times what you put in. Mr. McLean, you need to stop. Okay, I wish he's you He's going to get people going. Yeah, he's going to get y'all in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so you say it's the biggest market in the world. It's absolute. It's absolutely predictable, and it leverages 50 times what you put in. So Vic McLean, with his expertise, he should be a damn billionaire. George Soros. Yeah, I would think uh, this is George Soros (laughs) here under a different pen name or something. Forex is based on all the world's current wealth. (laughs) Go ahead, what you got to say? To this. this is good conversation because this is healthy when we get people to heckle. It's healthy to deal with it from a non-emotional standpoint yeah. and just to teach the fa- the fallacies of the con- of what they're presenting. All I have to say is when you limit people based on their age, based on their finances, based on their location, whatever market it is, it's not a free market. Crypto, it doesn't matter what age, how old. What, how little of money, because it breaks down to the eighth decimal point. You can have 10 cents worth of Bitcoin. You are allowed to play in this international, global, uh, 
market. And let me chime in on this. You may not realize what this means and represents. This means that you could make your children Absolutely. have potential to, to become young millionaires. You probably ain't realizing the assets, the limitations that's put on liquid, the limitations that's put on paper, currency. Currency is actually currency now. It's electric. I know. It's virtual. You don't even understand send how your, deep this is. Send your computer to work. Send your computer to work. They are the new workers. We will teach you in the course how to monetize your laptop, computer, at least five different ways. Listen, while you walk away. Y'all should have been prepared for the takeover when you kept seeing machines take the jobs. Oh, the toll booth guys, when you're driving and you got to go through the tolls, and now it's electronic and they just zap your license plates, and boom, ticket. Okay? Uh, when you was going on a train, and then they had one person in the booth and the metro car machine, and now there's nobody at the booth, just the metro car machine. Now you have the power to do the same exact thing, and you're not paying attention. You're going to keep being replaced as the worker instead of putting something else to work before you. And the thing is about it, there's all sorts of technology that you got to be introduced to, like IoT or the Internet of Things. There's all sorts of things that are not being discussed commonly in our community. And every time we commence this conversation, someone wants to bring you back to the old paradigm. Oh, no. This is an opportunity to pay attention to something while it's in its inception. It's already speedily progressing. People are already creating a realm of commerce around these coins that transcends our understanding because you got to start learning now. If those of you that don't acclimate yourself to it now are just going to wind up poor in another era. And you can't blame the white man. You can't blame Let's the white man. Let's do that man. again. This, this, this is not about race when it comes to crypto. This is not about... And, anything, and what will really happen people. is some races will make a more concerted effort to educate their own Absolutely. and it will feel like it's about race yeah. because when brothers and sisters attempted to talk about it, our brothers and sisters kept taking us to the previous paradigm that we don't excel in. <laughs> you see what I'm the, saying? The four percenters. Come on. Tell them about the cats. Do you have... Uh, a, oh, crypto kitties. Do you have crypto kitties? So non-fungible tokens, a.k.a. Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Non-fungible tokens. Okay. NFTs, a.k.a. ERC-721, which is the smart contract. Uh, the crypto collectibles. So what fungible fungible means is that you can it can be exchanged for something of itself. So like a dollar for another dollar. But when you can't exchange it, it's non-fungible. Okay, but, hold that thought. Go ahead. For those of you asking, how do you learn more about this? Make money in real time off of crypto step by step. You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. The course is 120. It will cost more by the time we post it on the app and post it on the website. So if you leave your phone number and you send us the email and say you're interested in the courses, you can get it for 120 for those of you that want to get it in real time because when we post it, it's going to cost more. The classes will be two weeks from now. Okay? It will be two weeks from now. The classes will cost more. So that's how you get the courses. I'm just reading the comments as you speak and I'm looking to interface with the people so pardon me each time I cut you off but we will bring it back right to where you was at. Okay? So we're going to get to the crypto kitties. I'm always ready. Right now. Okay, um, so Vic McLean says Bitcoin is controlled by a small, powerful group. <laughs> let's hear it. Yeah, as world's currency has many factors and variables and has a higher degree of transparency. Yeah, that's good, Vic McLean. That's, that's good. Okay. All right. And I mean, 21 million would have been a key word, but it's okay. And you're talking about the ones that won't be accessible. So bring that down about 15. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, okay. Divide that by 7 billion. And you're looking at a very uh -huh. valuable asset. More valuable than anything in history, yeah. I would say. Yeah, I would say. contend. Yeah. There'd be nothing more valuable than this in history when you consider the amount of people on the planet and the, the limit to how much can be produced at a time. Uh, you can go buy and trade Bitcoin now on Coinbase.com, Polyanex.com, GDAX.com. Alexa, excellent time while it's having this drawback. There you go. Positive. Let's go Positive. Morgan Russell or Russell. Okay, okay. So we're gonna get back. Let's let's get you back on the crypto kitty real quick yeah. and then we're gonna take them to Instagram. Yeah. They're gonna have to keep up with us on Instagram because we're gonna social 
media hop. Some days we're going to mess around and go on four different social media platforms to continue the conversation. <laughs> See, um, the most, the, the coolest uh, thing about blockchain technology is that uh, rarity. Anything digital, we won't ever, we won't for sure. How many of those are there? Are there out there on the internet? You know, you could just right click and copy, right click and copy. Now, I mean, I'm good. Oh yeah, yeah. I just, I want to take, I want to get some more light. Yeah. So I don't looking like um. Now that we have a system that's unique, that knows that there's, you're verified on the blockchain around the world that this belongs to you, that has a uniqueness, uniqueness and a rarity and value of its own. So CryptoKitties is the first decentralized application, aka DApps, where they grossed about 24 million in their for, first year. It clogged up the Ethereum network, a $15 billion network these crypto kitties clogged it up because so much transactions were going through from buying and selling crypto kitties, digital kittens that you can breed and sell. Right? I know. Now I know they be like digital kitties you can breed and sell. Or hot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's do it like this. For those of you that ever saw the movie Ready Player One, and you yeah. saw that it was deep because there was a point in the movie where they had to make it a law that. You had to have certain days out the week where you didn't indulge in the virtual realm because more people that were alive were investing their time and energy into the virtual realm. And so they themselves became players in another world. Okay? That's taking place right now <laughs> as we speak. And they've been acclimating us, acclimating us to it for quite some time. From those little games that the children used to feed their little doggy and wait till the dog wakes up Tamagashi and then have to take them and walk them. That was getting us acclimated for this, okay? It's always successive. It never is as spontaneous as we believe. It only feels spontaneous because there's a disconnect in information and we're out the loop of certain conversations. So by the time it's just full blown, we just feel like it just happened. But all the while, the Grand Theft Auto, the the watching the, movie, watching the TV show called Black Mirrors, and then I'm a, they are allowing you to determine different life paths of each character. All of that is part of the process. And all of that will be monetized. All of it is already being monetized, okay? So we're talking to you about people investing in the virtual world. Virtual world. Actually, you can see when you play video games, you can play a car game and you have to actually pay to upgrade your virtual car. So as, as asinine as this may sound to many of us, particularly older school, you may say, man, who the hell is gonna pay to invest in the virtual world? Listen, you get you an iPad right now, you download one of those video games, and you can pay money instead of beating the game, instead of learning the cheat code, instead of buying the magazine, you'll pay to get the better sword. You'll pay to get the upgrades for your vehicle, okay? You'll pay to get better clothes for your character. And people do pay. Yes. I was enticed. I ain't going to front you. I was enticed to do so at one point and I did pay for one or two things and I said man I just paid to upgrade a car on a game I just started to play how they got me and it's getting even more intense so as wild as this may sound this crypto kitty and breeding them trust me you saw how it looks with Pokemon did you not see people looking for the eggs for the Pokemon and they downloaded the app and they had to find the next Pokemon place zone, where to locate this Pokemon egg or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> and everybody was just out there on the streets like this. And guess what? Whoever created that made a shitload of bread. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And now you are empowered without having as much technical savvy mm -hmm. to be on the free market. Because that's what it is to create these opportunities without the same limitations that existed when the money was cash. Understand, cryptocurrency is creating opportunities for you that the conventional currency would never be able to create because it's integrated with a whole new type of algorithm, motifs, and recurring patterns and themes that only the virtual realm can make concessions to. This realm of cash in the physical world can never, never fit the mold of what's going to take place virtually. And whether you like it or not, whether it makes you uncomfortable, it's going to exist. And it's going to empower. And, and I'm going to tell you this, 
you're gonna have a slew or a plethora of young millionaires because these young people are the ones that's being more acclimated to this. They're growing into the idea and the culture. They already understand it. They're already feeling it. They're responsive to it. Limit. Stop the limits on your mind. Remove those chains before you find yourself impoverished in yet another paradigm. No, that's that's that's, the, that's one of the reasons why I cry, almost like came to tears. I was like, I can't believe this is happening in my lifetime. I felt so limited. No matter what I tried to do, I felt so limited. But the moment I realized this new world is here, that's when I my mind just became free. Yo. I became a free spirit, and I just went heavy. Man, conscious billionaire yeah. talk, man. Yeah. It's about to really go down. Y'all don't even have a clue how deep this thing really gets, you know. But it's real out here. And I want to share with as many people. There's there's more than enough to go around. You can create your own money, create your own economy. Like, yeah. Now, and then here's another question. This is what you got to ask people. And this is real talk. Okay, we could talk about the Bitcoin's value when it was little to nothing, when it skyrocketed, when it appeared to plummet, yeah. and even in its drop. What has the American dollar done the whole time? What has the pound done the whole time? <laughs> has it done anything remotely close to his ebbs and flows or the the eddies and on the undercurrents and the ha, has it come remotely close? Like if we take Bitcoin's lowest yeah. disposition, it, it still contrasts immensely to what the dollar has yet to do. The dollar is on a steady decline. It is not going up and then going down and we say, okay, wow, okay, this is what it is. Even with Bitcoin rising and so-called falling the contrast is too immense the contrast can't compare all right your dollar has done nothing the whole time the pound has done nothing compared to that the whole time so as you say oh look it's going down even when it's at its <laughs> lowest it's still way it's higher highest, yeah. in High value lowest. of the dollar the dollar can't put your money in the bank and don't touch it for a whole year and tell me what your interest is. I didn't want to say I had this. Yeah, leave, leave your money in a bank for 365 days and tell me how much interest you generate. You feel me? And what we're saying is, we're not just telling you purchase a Bitcoin. We're telling you how to own it, okay? Because many of people, many, many of you have cryptocurrency, but you don't own it. We're talking to you about setting up new browsers, okay? Okay, with wallets embedded in it, okay, because this is the new path, and you're going to be forced to do it eventually when the powers that be are already acclimated to it fully, and they set their path in motion, and then you guys will be the last tier to do it, and you'll still be using Safari <laughs> and uh, Chrome. All your data being stolen. Probably. All your data being stolen. You guys can get in properly, save and protect your assets because URLs are virtual real estate. Yes, Decentraland. Yeah, and with Decentraland, they are already people who have similar parcels. They're linking up together and creating districts within the districts. They're actually creating real estate, virtual real estate, and virtual real estate games. Listen, you, I know this is over the head. You, Say it again. You can subdivide your uh, digital parcel and you can rent it out. You could uh, you create a school on it. You can create a music studio. There's people in the virtual uh, virtual reality world who will pay to use your property in the century. Properties are going. I know this sounds 3, crazy. To three hundred thousand. Look it up on virtual real estate. Three thousand to <laughs> three hundred thousand for virtual real estate. Uh, so why aren't you creating it? You know, and how much and does it cost? Create this. You see them saying anyone can create this, but you know, uh, you you just want to get. The, I don't even know what to say. I'm too excited. Uh, just Listen, the course. we can really <laughs> crush it right now. I'm a, I want to create a project in this course where we get enough of us to create a virtual co-op. I would, I would love to discuss that with you. I've already thought about it. I just haven't even mentioned it yet. <laughs> let's create a virtual co-op and yeah. let's get the world to buy into it early. And I know this is still so new that you're like, yo, they talking about selling virtual real estate. For three thousand to three hundred thousand dollars, is going for. It's already taking place. We're behind. I know it sounds nuts, but when you look up there, I'm gonna do a YouTube. <laughs> We're gonna do a YouTube before we do the course. We're gonna do it very soon, and we'll show you online what's already taking place. 
And then you're gonna be like, yo, what the freak? <laughs> like, Cats is really selling yeah. virtual property. They're actually erecting virtual schools. And we're not talking about online course schools. This whole thing is somewhere different. And you may think that it has nothing to do with anything that you're interested in, and you're not interested in making money, first and foremost. And it's a creative world. There's just yeah. something different taking place. We're in the age in. of Aquarius. We're in the age of technology. And like my brother said, you don't have to clock in. The whole goal and purpose of this is the nine to five. And I'm telling you this, watch this. We're showing you how to get in without spending bread, without spending money. If you get the technical aspects right, you don't have to be a rocket scientist, but if we can talk to you for a few hours and you get the technical aspects right, the nuances. You can mine off your cell phone. You can mine off your cell phone. I do. And I'll show you how. I'll You'll be crypto mining <laughs> off your cell phone. Never mind if you don't understand any of the terminologies right now. Doesn't matter. When you get the course, we'll put everything into proper context. And as we keep doing these course, these classes right now, you'll keep picking up things piece by piece, little by little. You'll keep picking up data, and eventually it'll all start making sense. Because right now, it can be overwhelming because you're like, yo, it literally is another world that exists that people are already buying and selling from. The staple already exists virtually, and we're out the loop still chasing the physical dollar from the 9 to 5. We're still chasing it. Trust me, this is wild. <laughs> Bitcoin is not worth more than the U.S. dollar. Oh, God. Okay. No, we need those. You need them. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. even understand how you could come to that conclusion. Okay, so what is the dollar backed by? Is it back? Because uh, it's called a note. Before, it used to be called a silver certificate or a gold certificate. This McLean guy won't stop. Uh, follow us on Instagram, McLean. Get on Instagram. Go to brother underscore P-O-L-I-J-H-T. Go on that Instagram and let's start building so we can hear your point of view. I don't got no time to be cutting you off or heckling you. Let's hear your point of view so we can build. And I want you to teach me about this Federal Reserve note, note meaning debt obligation. Okay? I, I want to hear about it because before this money turned the note, before it became colorable, right? Because we're acting under the color of law each time we spend it. Money is colorable. That's what it is. Because you go to Article 1, Section 8, clauses 14 and 15. You see that the monies have to be backed by system of measures and weights, standards, measures, and weights, facts. And what you understand is that the dollar used to have silver certificate on it or gold certificate on it because you had to exchange it in order to get the value of silver or gold that corresponded with it. So it was backed by precious metals because all over the world, Precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, rhodium, and the likes are considered to be recessionary proof assets. Because no matter what discrepancy exists in the world, in the monetary world, that is, all nations identify gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and rhodium as necessities when it comes to commodities. There'd never be a discrepancy over the value of gold and silver. Facts. So, money used to be backed by gold and silver, but you didn't want to go somewhere and someone has to cut your silver or cut your gold in a certain portion or ration in order to get what's due you in exchange. So, what you would get is a certificate, which is a form of security. And a security is a paper certificate that attests the ownership and equity, as in the case of a stock, or ownership of a bond, as in the case of a debt obligation, which has traded with derivatives. So, you would have a security there with a QCIP, a Committee on Uniform Securities Identification Procedure. You have a QCIP number there, so they can be able to attest to your ownership and equity, so they can say, okay, this is worth $5 worth in gold. This is worth $10 worth in silver. So that way you didn't have to carry a heavy ass bag of gold and silver on you. You have a certificate. No different from you having a car note. So you don't have to carry the car around to prove it's worth. And somebody has to now check the year and the date and go under the tires and check. No, we can just look at the car note. Same way you have a mortgage note. And the same way you have these bank notes. You see what I'm saying? Same way you have a Federal Reserve note. It alludes to the fact that somebody owes somebody else money. But there's an attestation for the value. So what I'm saying is they pledge human beings' labor to establish the value of money under the color of law. Therefore, rendering you a transmitting utility. We have to understand what currency actually is in the first place before we can cast out dissenting views about cryptocurrency. This is the problem. And you're not going to be able to tangle 
with myself or my mentee about this because we'll come from two different perspectives and meet each other at the same in line. And this would be the tortoise versus the hare because we go through it nice and slow. But believe me, we'll be at the finish line and the hare will be like, how the hell they got there? Because you know how to run fast. But you 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 don't know how to strategic. You can run fast, but you don't know how to strategically go through the track. We'll take our time to the proper route and get there before you while you're running fast, huffing and puffing. This is real talk. But hey, make sure you email us at brotherpolite45. I love the heck, and he's the only one I see doing it, but um, it's okay because it creates opportunity for teaching moments. You know, so it's, it's perfectly fine for people to disagree. Uh, he's not the only one that disagrees with cryptocurrency and its significance. Many people are in denial, despite the fact we're constantly seeing the infrastructure of the crypto world constantly building up. When people are selling virtual real estate for $3,000 to $300,000, uh, it's here. When I'm going in to check cash place and I see a Bitcoin machine, uh, it's there. Okay? Okay? When car dealerships are accepting cryptocurrency, I'm like, it has arrived. That's just too much to reverse at this particular point in time. When the feds are over here like, we're creating a coin. When your major banks are like, oh no, we're going to create our coins. And when you pay property taxes in Bitcoin. From this mail. When you can pay property, property taxes, taxes and Bitcoin. Bitcoin, someone knows something you don't know. And I'm going to tell you this, what you got to learn, if you really know about Forex, if you really know about day trading, if you really know about the nuances and the particulars thereof, then you know what you know. You know that some people manipulate the market by putting out misinformation Absolutely. to change the algorithm. Okay, to change people's encouragement, to change people's zeal towards the product. People are put out there to put out false reports to control the tides. Because we've learned, don't attempt to control the sea, control the sail. That's what the wise learn. You can't control the sea, control the sail. But when it comes to the mind of the people you market into, now you can manipulate yeah. the sea. Yeah. And they do this all the time. So they inculcate certain themes in the minds of the popular, or the masses, I should say. And they may put out a report and say, man, it's not looking good. And they, they get everyone to sell. CNBC. This is what they all, do. All of them. They, yeah. This is a game. And meanwhile, they buy it all up while everyone's yeah. scared. Exactly. And this is why the brother was telling you, what? Keep your emotions intact. Keep your emotions intact. Study uh, the emotion. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna show you in the course. We gotta do this. How to, how to manage your emotions, and we're gonna break down all the different terms. We're gonna give them some of this stuff and free, man. We gotta we got we need to get a lot of this information out of the way free, so we can get to work when we do the course. So let's just give them that stuff free. And even even the best traders have to take a step back, just go to sleep, meditate on it, because sometimes that the emotions will get you. The most the greed is I mean, the greed is what how, how a lot of people lose money in crypto straight up the greed is all, always uh, signing up for scams or Ponzi schemes that guarantee you back three to four percent a day like all that any types of guarantees or particular percentage uh, you don't uh, own the private keys it's all a scam it's all a Ponzi scheme stay away from it because it, it would hurt to see any any of our followers uh, get wrecked 